The Scuola Grande di San Rocco is located in the Sestiere of San Polo, in Campo San Rocco. It was established in 1478 by the Confraternity of the Faithful to the French Saint, protector of the victims of the plague, and was declared the Scuola Grande in 1480. The main entrance leads to the Sala Terrena. From here, a staircase with two symmetric arms leads to the Sala Superiore, where the confraternity met and welcomed pilgrims devoted to the saint. Going on, you reach the Sala dell'Albergo, a meeting place of the confraternity's supervisory boards, the Banca and the Zonta. The pictorial decoration of the rooms was entrusted to leading artists such as Titian, Giorgione, Francesco Pianta, Giambattista Tiepolo and mainly to Jacopo Robusti called Tintoretto. Between 1564 and 1588 he produced over 70 canvases or paintings on canvas of great proportions put on the walls instead of easily perishable frescoes due to the lagoon humidity. for the competition for the decoration of the central section of the ceiling of the Sala dell'Albergo. Rather than presenting the sketch as required, he installed his already completed canvas. To quieten the protests of other competitors, Tintoretto donated it to San Rocco and proposed to terminate on his own the decoration of the remaining sections of the ceiling becoming himself a confrere and offering to embellish the whole school for the modest sum of 100 ducats a year, he made his own decorative choices based on the location of the paintings, their lighting and the spectator's point of view. From the main entrance you access the Sala Terrena, which is divided into three naves by two rows of columns with octagonal pedestals and it has a truss ceiling. The floor of the hall is dominated by an altar of the 16th century that houses the statue of San Rocco and to its sides are four statues of saints all dating back to the 16th century. Tintoretto's paintings that decorate the hall are devoted to episodes of the life of the Virgin and of Christ's childhood. From left to right you can see Annunciation Adoration of the Magi The Flight into Egypt The Slaughter of the Innocents Presentation in the Temple Assumption of Mary And in the end, close to the windows at the back of the hall, there are St. Mary of Egypt and St. Mary Magdalene. On the right wall are the two refined portals of the Scalone characterized by bar vaults divided by two parallel lower ramps that are then reunited into a single central stairway. The stairway walls are adorned with two large paintings that recall the terrible plague of 1630, at the end of which, in order to respect a boat, the Chiesa della Salute was erected. The church itself is painted against the background of the left canvas, which is titled The Madonna Saves Manis from the Plague. On the right wall you can see the work called The Virgin Appears to Plague Victims. In Venice the problem of the plagues was deeply felt since the disease, carried by fleas on the black rat, was carried by ships coming from the east where these animals stayed. 
According to historical documents, the plague of 1347 cut down three-fifths of the population, while epidemics of 1555 and 1630 caused the death of a third of the inhabitants. At the top of the stairway, there is a dome with frescoes depicting Saint Rock showing the poor invalids to the charity bearing the torch of faith and the access to the Sala Superiore. The Sala Superiore has been completely decorated by Tintoretto. The ceiling is composed of 21 differently shaped and sized boxes where episodes of the Old Testament are depicted. You can distinguish three large central rectangular paintings representing water, healing and bread, elements needed to comfort the pains of the men suffering from thirst, diseases and hunger. The large canvas in the center called Miracle of the Bronze Serpent represents the healing from disease as a spiritual rebirth and salvation of the soul. The other two large canvases depict the sacraments through which we obtain salvation from death, baptism and Lord's Supper. In the left canvas, titled Moses drawing water from the rock, Moses is striking the rock with a stick and accomplishes the miracle of water, whereas in the right canvas, titled The Fall of Manna, is the miracle of the bread. Even the paintings on the walls, depicting episodes from the Old Testament, are linked by these three recurring subjects. You can find therefore the element of water on the canvases, the baptism and Christ heals the paralytic. The subject of healing on the canvases of the resurrection and the ascension whereas bread is depicted in the Last Supper and in the multiplication of the loaves and fishes. The walls of the hall are also enriched by a series of allegorical depictions by Francesco Pianta the Younger, including the spectacular Libreria with 64 outstanding volumes of great realism. The wall on the right side of the scalone is totally filled by the presbytery, the altar and the altarpiece by Tintoretto depicting the apparition of San Rock. From the Sala Superiore you access the Sala dell'Albergo, where you find the banca, a massive table, around which the leaders of the school met. Behind it is the largest canvas titled The Crucifixion indisputable masterpiece by Tintoretto that he delivered to the school on the occasion of the Feast of San Rocco on August the 16th, 1565. The canvas, 12 meters long and 6 wide, depicts Christ already raised on the cross, while the group to his left is intent on raising one of the two already crucified thieves, and on the right others are digging to raise the third and final cross. All the characters are enclosed by an imaginary spokes wheel starting from behind the Christ, following diagonal almost photographic lines. On the vault of the hall, there is a central oval by Tintoretto titled San Rocco in Glory. What makes this canvas special is the fact that watching it from afar, the figure of Christ, Mercy and Saint Rock are perfectly vertical, despite the fact that they are placed on totally different spatial dimensions. Compared to the central oval, on the upper side, allegories of some Venetian grandi scuole are placed. To its right, Faith, the Allegory of the Scuola di San Teodoro, 
and goodness are represented. On the underside, there are two female figures surrounding happiness, while on the left, generosity. Allegory of the Scuola della Carità and hope are arranged. The canvases at the four corners of the ceiling represent the seasons and finally, to frame the paintings, there is a frieze with fruits, flowers and cupids of which you can admire a fragment with three apples that is displayed under glass on the counter of the hall. Tintoretto wanted to give the impression that the two prophets, paintings on canvas at the center of the two pairs of windows, tell through the other works on the walls their vision of Christ's passion and death. <laughs>